Good morning, this is Burnwait, and welcome back to the next episode of the Russian Campaign in this warm, summery map where we continue to struggle against our borders and are considering some very drastic measures to start war, which could reduce our stability, but may bring us great fortune. Notably, what I'm saying is I want to attack Riga, and I have no cast of Spelly, so I'd have to pay admin power. But I don't want to do that until I get rid of my war exhaustion, and I'm worried about who the Livonian Order would call in. So, native uprising! Oh no! Army maintenance. Go get them. How long is it going to take you? Will your morale be able to handle it? Well, they're going to take it before they get there. You have your general. Are they going to get there before they take it? Oh no! They have damaged our colonies. Dang it. Terrible. Well, they're not close enough to do anything, so I don't know why I'm sitting over here. Just getting my just getting ruined here. All right, so let's pay, repay this loan. Uh, let's drop our army maintenance again. Take an admin tech. Production efficiency, that's nice. New idea group next to admin tech. Oh, and I was going to look at changing government form. Oh, this unrest is nice. Oh, there's nothing right now because it costs. I don't have the power. I don't have the admin power because I spent it all on my tech. What do I need for the military? 611. That's a few more years. What level are these guys? 13? Everyone's 13 but me. Nobles demand gain autonomy everywhere or lose stability. Gosh. That would be like a kick in the gut for my, uh... What is this? So, trade power, taxes, manpower. Don't like that. It's like losing 15% manpower in your country. Let me think. What is 15? So, if I'm losing 0.15 a month, that'll take 100 months. It's like 10 years. I want to save up my admin points so I can declare war on Riga. <coughs> I'll do it. That just happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. What did I do? Was that the right decision? Ah, it's already down to 14.7. Look at that. It's going to be gone in no time. Won't even notice it. This is my good army. This is my mercenary army. What are these guys doing? They're just hanging out over here still. Man. No one's doing anything. This game is like just in a slow. I should go up one speed. How's Theodora doing in their war? They've been in this war for like 5,000 years. Oh, they're done. I 
I've never been in such a stable game before, where like no one is attacking anyone like this, you know? There's still some other things going on, but I guess there's, I've gotten to a point Alright, well, no, I want naval tech, I want military tech, I'm going to save it. Is my war exhaustion down yet? Yep, that's gone. Where's my local unrest? Sarov! Oh, no one's over there. I'm never going to get there in time. Gonna ruin it again. Oh no! I lost it all together. I guess I gotta. I just gotta put some units in there. I don't have any. I don't want to pay the military maintenance. I guess I should focus on colonizing because. Bergen House, Bergen Schuss, and Agder. Where are we? What is your unrest from? Still have a lot of separatism. Advancement of the True Religion Act. Well, your separatism is going down, so. It's weird. Maybe someone's funding them. Yeah, it's dropping. 22 years. Army has seen better days. Lose prestige. Or stability. That's terrible. Gotta save those admin points. I guess it's because I'm just sitting here with zero army maintenance. Ah. This is a rough time in the history of Russia. So what can we do? Regimental camp, land force limit higher? Really like this. Training fields. There's nothing super great to build. Workshops. I really need to like spend some money on uh, development, or admin points on development, but I want to use them all. And other stuff. And docks. Wouldn't be bad. Shipbuilding, ship repair, or naval force limit plus two. Marketplace. Oh, I don't have one there? I'll do that. And... Anything else is not that's all right up here? No. No, no, no. All right, let me turn my my army maintenance back up. Put it up to like there. And I guess because I have so many mercenaries, really. Have 24 mercenaries there, and another 12 there. So what's the maintenance is 0.39 versus regular is 0.15. So I do have manpower. So what I can do is build up another uh, army. So I'll get the cannons first. They take the longest. Cavalry. And then I want 14 of these, which I don't think I can get them all right now. Four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And then we will just immediately disband this. Excellent. All right, so I guess I just need, I do need forces there. I only lost 34 people too, it's fine. As long as they don't start suffering attrition, I can just pull some out. All right, military begins to rise again. A native military, I guess, as opposed to a mercenary war machine. Stop doing this. National arrest for one year. Ignore their demands. Thank you very much. How is this going? 10.8 years. So that's the plus two that just happened. It's annoying. Their separatism is going down. I really doubt that's going to happen. Peasants have risen up in Kaban. Oh, that's your case. They're going to need help. What a pain. Now you guys go. You stay. No, you stay. You go. So, uh, yeah. My general's on that other one over there. That's, that was super annoying. So, we are continuing to colonize here, which is super rebellious and angry land. They are suffering attrition. So let me just take out all this stuff. Put it right here. That is good. Alright, cool. Is that enough? For now, anyway. And they're coming down there to help. Advisor maintenance, army maintenance is just insane. Colony maintenance. It's just it's just too much, man. So I need two more infantry there. The manpower's all gone. All right, take care of that. You guys can come back up here to Ostrov. This is still going down. In November, that's going to drop a whole bunch. So let's see. Just check and make sure. November 11th, I believe. Yep, there goes that. So I really doubt we'll ever have to deal with that. Oh, military tech. Yes. Large cast bronze mortar. Oh no, that was the first one. So I'm going to get the cannons. Tech level 13. And finally, I'll be tech level 13 with everyone else. Artillery, fire, and shock. So we have superior unit types. Eastern Hussars, offensive, stick with those. Large cast iron cannons. Offensive fire. Offensive morale. Interesting. And defensive shock. I don't know, I think the offensive fire would be nice. I don't know, I play so defensively though. But this has defensive morale. I'll go with those. So, here we go. These guys are back. Oh, they're here. So I was going to buy the two 
How's my army maintenance doing? Still insane. They're all fully reinforced. They're all fully reinforced. Losing five ducks a month. No one is suffering attrition. It's January, so that's good. And I need to start a war. That's what I need. I need to start a war, literally. Make some money. You will still call and France won't join. But Commonwealth, Pomerania, and Scandinavia will. Because France has huge war exhaustion. So let's see what else we can do. That whole mess. You guys are being annexed still. Oh, I was going to offer vassalization. I totally forgot about that. Let's improve relations. Let's see what we can do. Of course, what I'd really like is for Ottomans to not join in any war with everything over here forever. Let me turn down my army maintenance a little bit. Just so I'm slightly positive. So, let's see. Astria and Brandenburg are at war. Oh, I need my... I do not have any diplomats available, unfortunately. That's okay, I'm still recovering. Don't think I'm going to get enough. Copper is now produced in Serov. Alright, we're back to where we were a while ago. Improvements in nasal technology. Gain inflation in diplo power or 10 diplo power. What is our inflation at? Steady, so 0.5 inflation for 40 diplo power. So. 0.2, so 2 inflation is worth 75 admin points. So a quarter of 75 is like 18. So I could get 18 admin and 50 diplo. But I like admin more than diplo. Well, I guess the difference would be 40. I'll just, yeah. I'm feeling conservative. How's this going? 0.6, yeah. What's next? 0 0.1, 222 years. Alright, I think we're safe. I think. Let's see. Oh, I need my, uh, my diplomat back whenever... See, this isn't helping. Nope. Royal marriage has ended. Yeah, that's not going to help. Hopefully they'll ask me, so I don't have to worry about... Yay! I have a free advisor slot, too. Royal marriage. Minus two legitimacy, because they are inferior... Where is my... Oh, I don't have any advisors. Gosh. Land Force Limit Modifier. National Manpower Modifier. That'd be nice. If I could even remotely afford that. Fort Defense. I'm not going to really use either of those. I just want the plus one. National Tax Modifier. But I still won't be able to afford the monthly cost. Or afford him at all. Alright, I'm going to leave those for a moment. It's kind of sad at this point in the game not to have advisors, but... 
It is what it is. I really want to attack the Livonian Order. Our truce with the Commonwealth and Moldavia has ended. Scandinavia and Brandenburg are in here. Are they attacking? Current war is everyone. Okay. What did you do to make everyone mad, Livonian Order? So only Tuscany would join the Commonwealth. Neither Theodore nor Great Britain would join me. Pomerania and the Commonwealth would join if I attacked them. What about Scandinavia? Friesland, Pomerania, and Brandenburg. I mean, that's enough to field some more armies. Yeah, I could not do that. But who all are here? Scandinavia and Brandenburg with a lot of men. That is not good for them. They're at war with everyone, too. Hungary, Saxony, Wurzburg, and Venice. Hmm. Well, this is this is good. I'm gonna keep my eye on this and uh Perhaps these people will get quite exhausted in these wars and allow me to do something. Just don't want the Commonwealth to expand their power. General is dead. Oh no, that was my awesome general. Yes it was. Army tradition. Man. Good general. Good general. Okay, general. Not as good as the last one. That guy was awesome. He does have a siege. So I just don't want the Commonwealth to, uh... Tuscany will join. Again. So where are they? Down here. And what do they have? Hmm. It's not tiny. They're at war also. Well, this isn't going well for them. Oh no, that's Hungary occupied by the Commonwealth. So what's the Commonwealth is, uh... They have no manpower, but they still have 60,000 troops. This might be a really great time to attack again. I kind of have to abandon my, my colony over here. But whatever. Oh, I'm super, super... interested in this. Okay. Let me... oops. Let me check out the fort map real quick. Where are we? Alright. So I could do the same thing again and try and also move down here. Because I bet all their troops are over there. They can't be doing well. This is good. I'm going to do this. I am. So let's do a mission. Let's say save the Russian people at Smolensk. Help the autonomy too. Is that everyone? Or that's probably just Smolensk. Okay, so let's slow this down. We're going to have to kind of abandon our colony. It might get destroyed by those guys again. So... Those got cannons. This is my mercenary army with some cannons. These have more cannons. So, and you to come... over to... I want to do that, but I don't want to separate them. It worked out too well not separating them last time, so they come over there. Alright, economy. That's 
boost it a little bit. Now let's boost it all the way. That's a bad economy right there. Wow, army maintenance. 30. I need that morale though. It'll be worth it. I might just have to take out another loan for this. Your units have such weird casualties. These guys probably. By the time they get over here, morale should be top top. And they're doing too good in that war. So the sooner I attack, the better off things will be. And none of their armies I better over here. Scandinavian Brandenburg. Take Smolensk. Or, let's take Smolensk, because they have a fort there. So I'm going to declare now war now, and these guys will kind of come over as reinforcements. And I have at least equal numbers, um, and their armies have got to be down here taking a beating. So, this is exciting. I'm excited. Looks like my morale is up. Okay. That's it. We've done it. Auto saving. Ah, I'm scared. Mothballed forts. I'll keep them mothballed. And let's move in. At least I have those two infantry units I want to put on there. Oh, that's why my... Oh, I'm so smart. That's why the money has been so bad. Did not pay attention to that when I rebalanced from the mercenaries. Oh well. Let's see. Call to arms. Where are we? Call to arms. No. Because they, have, they like them. Or they're scared of them. Whatever. Alright. Well, we started this war. So I'm going to take a break. And in the next episode, we will hopefully smash the Commonwealth once again. Though we didn't really smash them last time, but we did some good stuff. That's what that's what our goal is, to weaken them. Well thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.